Spring! Well, we keep talking snow, but the inevitable warm-up, that's on the way. It has to be, right? At yeah. some point, uh, for a lot of us, we are itching to get out and start digging in those gardens. And spring also is a time for that annual spring cleaning ritual. But just like we want to be our gardens to be green, we want to be and can try to be green inside, too. Indeed we do. Well, it takes a little planning, but we can all take care of the earth while taking care of our homes and families. Nutritionist and health coach Karina Heinrich is joining us now with some things that we can all do. Always good to have you on the show, <laughs> Karina. Um, and so let's talk cleaning. You know, spring cleaning seems like something you just have to do this time of year. So how can we <laughs> clean but lower our environmental impact? It all starts in the kitchen. So you need to learn your kitchen smarts. Reduce, reuse, repurpose. Reducing kitchen waste can lower their, your environmental impact, keep your family healthy. Using reusable containers like glass or plastic is an easy way to start. And also pack silverware instead of disposable plasticware in your lunch. Make sure to limit those paper plates, napkins, and other single-use items. So really easy to start right in the kitchen. Wow. Speaking of the kitchen, uh, kitchen cleaners that we buy, you know, you go to the aisles and there's just a ton yes. of products. You just, your mind just kind of goes numb looking at all of it. What should we be looking for? Absolutely. It gets a little overwhelming when you look at all those chemically based dishwasher liquids. So fortunately, there are plenty of naturally cleaning companies that are using non-toxic, biodegradable, plant-based. You can also create your own, which is what I do, by using ingredients like vinegar, baking soda, which combines makes a great all-purpose non-toxic cleaner, which is safe for your family and kids. I just started doing that, too, as a shower cleaner, like vinegar and yes. um, dish soap. And it's amazing, actually, mm, how good it, it works and how easy it is to clean off. Wow, okay. Yeah. Well, we know that a big way that we can have an impact is by lowering our food waste. So let's talk about easy ways to do that. Absolutely. So the first thing you can do is make sure your fruits and vegetables never get thrown away. Put them in the freezer. Oftentimes they work really well blended together into a smoothie. Things like zucchini, leafy greens that we often kind of toss. Um, this makes into really healthy combinations used for leftover stir fries, casserole, salad, soup. So you really want to plan ahead and make sure you're not overbuying and that you're freezing everything before it expires. Mm, there you yeah. go. Repurpose. And uh, yeah, I think a lot of us do kind of just buy too much. Yeah, uh, we do. Pots and pans, appliances, uh, things like rice cookers. It, you know, they can be expensive, big investments, right? But uh, what's your take on how we should uh, approach those items? Yeah, from a waste perspective, investing in cookware that will last a really long time is key. So stainless steel, cast iron are great examples of cookware that will last for many years. And if there's something in your kitchen that you literally haven't used for years, like that slow cooker or rice maker, it's very sustainable to just pass it along to a friend or neighbor who will use it. So make sure you're not throwing it away in your dumpster. Give it away. That's a good idea. I have so yeah. many of those kind of like single... Um, use <laughs> devices, right, mm -hmm. that you don't use. Mm -hmm. um, Alex doesn't drink coffee, so I'm going to ask this next question. <laughs> but if you can't skip the coffee, and especially if you don't do it at home and you grab it on the go, how can we be more mindful of the environment with that? You know, I bring my own to buy at coffee places and say just put it in my reusable option we're throwing away so much plastic pollution so we want to steer clear also if you are making it at home because you think you're saving money the single-use coffee pods are a big no-no instead consider a low waste option like pour over or french press and again those single use have to be put away use the reusables yeah, good points. That's a good option. Yeah, yeah. Um, is that is there, and they have no problems with you bringing in uh, your your own cup? Absolutely not. I mean, they kind of look at me for a second and they're like, "Sure, why not?" <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, any other spring team cleaning tips that uh, we should try out uh, this year? We still have still still some time to get some cleaning done. Absolutely. So if you never compost, you want to compost food waste. So again, save those veggie scraps to make into homemade broth. Plan your meals ahead to reduce all that food waste. Shop that bulk section and bring your own bags. Ask for no plastic when it comes for takeout orders. And then use dishcloths instead of all those paper towels. So these are easy things. Get your kids involved. Little bit goes a long way. You don't have to do all these things. Pick one or two that you can start today. 
Yeah, and then you can add them along the way. A friend of mine did that with the dishcloths. So instead of, you know, towel, paper towels by the sink, she just had um, a nice cute little basket of those, you know, blue and white checked dishcloths. Mm. And it was so easy, at, right, to use them. And she had another one to put the used ones in, and then you just wash them. And so that's exactly. a good one. And how many Ziplocs do yeah. we use, too? The yeah. Ziplocs are what mm. my kids go through so often. So there's yes. so many options out there for fun ways to be more eco-friendly in the kitchen. Yeah, thank you for making us think about this, Karina. Um, <laughs> always appreciate having you on the show. Thank uh, you. you know, great ideas and you know, just helping us get into the spring clean mode. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to use that uh, that uh, dish towel thing because yeah. we go through paper towels like that. I know, but I like a clean towel every time I, you know, I know. dry my hands. I know. Yeah. <laughs>